You know what's weird when you read something that says improvements of humanoid robots and then you see photos like this and this. <gasps> Needs improving. <gasps> Needs more improving. <gasps> Needs more improving. Researchers from the Japan Science and Technology Agency, or JST, want to make robots more human. And while they're clearly not going for the human look, they want to make robots more human by turning them into better conversationalists. Take, for example, Ibuki here, which is that nightmare I just showed you. Ibuki is part of the Symbiotic Human-Robot Interaction Project. According to the researchers, Ibuki is a childlike robot with a moving unit. However, you can clearly tell that they just carved the face off of a Cabbage Patch doll, slapped it on a Segway, and some, for some reason, gave it man hands. I guess the better to strangle you with. Like they wanted a set of hands that could get all the way around a human throat. Get a good squeeze. The hope is that a Buki can be developed into a conversational robot that can construct a deeper relationship with a human. To build a deeper relationship, a Buki has various emotional expressions such as gestures and hand signs, as well as facial expressions, like this one. I call it pissed. I call it axe murderer. I call it murderous child. I call it the omen. Ibuki also moves or rolls so it can build a relationship with you as you take long walks together. That's a real thing. They also developed Erica, who you can see chatting up this guy in a room with an inordinate amount of fake flowers. Erica has a multimodal recognition system with various types of human tracking sensors. Not only does she speak to you, but she has nonverbal skills as well, such as the ability to express emotion. Motion, like nodding along, and gaze. Need to work on that gaze though, because she is just looking through your soul right now. Just, you're just staring into the darkness. The hope is to one day create a world where humans never have to interact with one another again. I mean, now you think I'm joking. But am I? Get a good squeeze. Sidewalk Labs is the urban innovation division of Alphabet, the company that also owns Google. This week, the company signed a massive deal to develop 12 acres of Toronto into a high-tech neighborhood. According to a report in Business Insider, the $1 billion project is called Sidewalk Toronto. The neighborhood, Quayside, will be developed to be sustainable, affordable, and economically welcoming. So, I mean, so it's just gonna be like riddled with Canadian hipsters. Are Canadian, are there Canadian hipsters? Is that a thing? Exact plans have not been unveiled, but some speculate that the project will include embedded sensors to track energy consumption, machine learning, self-driving cars, and high-speed internet. I just, I just don't understand how that's like not a thing everywhere yet. Residents fear that Quayside could be the next Silicon Valley, raising the cost of housing, promoting gentrification, and Increasing wage inequality. Gonna be super dope though. Get a good squeeze. JPay tablets are tablets for prisoners. Specifically, they are corrections grade tablets that inmates can buy and, according to the company, access email, listen to music, play games, and access educational materials. Well, apparently the JPay tablets are also vulnerable to cyber attacks and a few prisoners hack the devices for you guessed it, a criminal enterprise. Who'd have thought? Prison officials out of Boise, Idaho, say that 364 inmates from five different prisons transferred nearly a quarter of a million dollars into their accounts. According to a report from the AP, the most that any one inmate received was $10,000, but JPay has only recovered $65,000. As for how they did it, officials are still mum, saying only that the inmates exploited a software vulnerability and it has been resolved. Until the credits are returned, the inmates will only have access to email, which they are likely using to brag about their heist. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.